Just this past Tuesday, Atari announced their latest revival console, the 7800 Plus. Well, of course, I covered that announcement here on Gen X Grown Up, and the comment section of that video has been full of people asking a lot of the same questions. A lot of the same questions even I had when I first saw the announcement. Uh, and I've kind of put them in three different categories. There's the, who's this for question. There's the, where's my 5200 slash Jaguar slash Lynx, insert your favorite console here. And the third and most probative, the one I wanna save for last is, what is Atari thinking with the 7800 plus? <laughs> hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. And yeah, so I wanna talk about these three topics. I'm gonna to start with who is the 7800 plus for? Uh, now you remember uh, the 2600 plus came out at the same time last year. It was announced around this time and came out for you know Q4 Christmas of 2023. And the thing is that the if you if you're not privy to the news, effectively the 2600 plus and the 7800 plus do the same things. <laughs> Right? They both play 2600 cartridges. They both play 7800 cartridges. They both are emulation. Uh, the, the real key difference here is that the 7800 Plus is in the shape of a 7800, not a 2600. And the new ability for uh, uh, wireless controllers with these new wireless CX40 and CX78 Plus controllers coming out. And it would be easy to go, it's, it's just the same thing again. I understand there are also some uh, updated in, internals, some upgraded you know, chipset inside or whatever, but effectively for the end user, it's gonna be identical. And effectively, I see there's three groups for whom this could be uh, targeted. First of all, collectors who collect mini consoles or collect Atari stuff or whatever. They don't care that it does the same thing as the last one, they're gonna pick it up. Uh, the second is the the 7800 enthusiast. Now, I have to remember, you know, I'm an older Gen Xer, but I grew up with the 2600. Not everyone did. Some Atari fans, their their first entry into gaming for the Atari was the 7800 because they're a bit younger and they played the 26 and 78 games on it, but if you love the aesthetic, the more modern, the chrome and the rainbow look of the 7800, this might appeal to you more. Uh, and finally, if you're in neither of those groups, if you skipped the 2600 plus last year, well, this it's the same price. It has updated internals. It has wireless capability and does all the same stuff. I think that's, that's look, if you don't fall into one of those three groups, maybe it's not for you. But you also have to remember, this is not a brand new model that Atari has picked up. What about cell phones, you know? A cell phone came out last year, another one's gonna come out this year that does most of the same stuff with some little extra feature. Ooh, it has a new camera or it has a new button on it or whatever. Well, that happens a lot. Uh, uh, car manufacturers, every year they come out with another car. Did my last year's car stop working on the road? No, I can still drive with it, but this new one has you know, an HD transmission or connectivity for Android Auto or whatever. They add new bells and whistles to make you want to upgrade. Not necessarily thinking you're gonna buy every single one, although some of you cell phone people do buy every single one every year, uh, but knowing that eventually there will be a critical mass of new features that aren't on the one you had, but are on this new model, so maybe you'll pick it up. So it, it's, it's not so much that that it's, uh, it does the same thing as last year, is that it's iterating, like many companies do, iterating on previous products to give you something slightly new to entice you to upgrade or to get it if you didn't get it last time. The second thing, which I get, which is, where's the 5200 plus? That's the first thing that I thought. I'm like, if you're going chronologically, 2600, give me the 5200 next, please. 7800 can come later. You know, then Jaguar plus and Lynx plus and look, all those things I would like, but, uh, also, I'll point out, there's still no official full dot updated firmware for the 2600 plus. So maybe it's because they've been dumping all their time into the 7800 plus. I don't know. Uh, certainly, I talked to someone in the comments who was like, you know, that's like a confidence issue. If you still haven't updated the old one, really, I mean, there is a firmware you can get, but it's not fully vetted and official, right? Uh, there is a confidence issue there and I get that. Also, I totally get why you might not do, if you're Atari, the 5200 plus, what a small library of original games. What is, is there like 
fewer than 100, 60 or so, well, plus home brews, I guess, that are coming out that they could expand on. But the 78 and 26, of, of course, can play one another's games. And so it's not just you get the, you know, 100 or so, 7,800 games, you get the entire library of 26 plus all of the uh, homebrew as we've seen in the cartridge releases. So further, I think they're going somewhere with this. I don't think this is the end of these releases. Um, yeah, I think that takes me really well. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is there is, uh, I don't think this is the end of the road. I think there's still hope for love for those other platforms, those other Atari platforms. And let me tell you why I think that. And that brings me to my third point. What is Atari thinking with the release of the 7800 Plus? Well, first, the cynic in me says Atari needs revenue. So they have a new product to sell. So, okay, that's obvious. People love to go cash grab, cash grab. It's not a cash grab unless you buy it. If you don't want to buy this, don't reward something that you think is not in your best interest. Atari, of course, being a company, they need to make revenue. They can't just sell the same thing over and over and over they made last year. They're gonna have to repackage and do something new. Thus, the 7800 plus. So that's the cynic in me, that's the obvious. But I think they're doing something bigger here and it's in plain sight, but I haven't heard anyone talk about it yet. And if you wanna know what I'm talking about, look no further than that A plus logo, that little designation that is in the corner of all the new cartridges, it's on all the new boxes of the controllers, and it's right on the 7800 Plus page. If you scroll down, there's this big section that talks about the Atari Plus platform. We, including me, uh, we are thinking of the 7800 Plus like a console. You know, it's, it's 2600, 7800, it's a console. Well, it's not. Uh, okay, I mean, it is a console. It is a throwback console, but I believe from Atari's perspective, this is an appliance in a series of appliances that are all going to be working together and at least uh, uh, in the same ecosystem. So the Atari Plus platform, and it says right there on the page, has games and accessories that are backward and forward, forward compatible. Consoles, accessories, and games work together and are also compatible with most original accessories and cartridges. So. Look, they put extra work into making the wireless versions of the CX-40 and CX-78 work on the 2600 Plus. So I don't think the 2600 Plus is going anywhere. Uh, you, that's wired connectivity, of course, on the uh, on the legacy one because it has no receiver. But that tells me that the 2600 Plus is going nowhere and forward compatibility tells me the 7800 Plus is not the last in the line of these Plus consoles or appliances that Atari is going to be putting out, right? We have the 2600 plus, we have the 7800 plus now. Why would you start this ecosystem, this Atari plus platform to talk about just two things or just one thing if you're canceling another? I think there's more coming. Does that mean like for future compatibility that the, the 5200 plus or whatever is going to be compatible with uh, wirelessly compatible with these controllers. It suggests that there's a lot going on. Or will the next console go backwards and support 5200, 700, 2600? All that remains to be seen. But at least by taking a look at what's going on with that Atari Plus platform. And that's the big takeaway here uh, for my money is that, yeah, there's this new gadget coming out, but slyly on the side, they established this new ecosystem that they're touting right on the product box art. The Atari Plus platform is more than just this console. I think it's an initiative that Atari is trying to spin up as they continue to do more and more of these. And the success of the 2600 Plus and allegedly the 7800 Plus is probably going to inform how deep they go into their back catalog of consoles and other appliances, again, <laughs> that uh, they will be releasing in the future. So what do you think about my suppositions and my uh, conclusions that I've drawn? Did you notice that Atari Plus platform? Had you thought about what it might mean? Uh, it really got me thinking as soon as I saw it. Uh, please do let me know what you think. Sound off down in the comments of this video. I love to hear back from you and hear what you're thinking. And it further informs what I should be covering in the future to know what you're most interested in. Of course, I will throw links over my shoulders here and here to some previous videos I've done related to this topic. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this video. And I cannot wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.